Rafe and Esther. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about season four of Trying, which is absolutely amazing. So excited that we've got season four. Um, now, a few years have passed in between season three and season four, and I mean that on the timeline of the show. Um, you're now parents of a teenager, Princess, and Tyler is just a little bit younger. Uh, Rafe, I want to talk with you first about how has your character changed since season three to now season four? Because there's a lot going on. Yeah, there is. I mean, he's, uh, as you say, he's the parent of a, of a teenage daughter. And um, he uh, is a stay-at-home dad. What I can tease is that through the series, Jason perhaps realises his calling in life. Um, and he's been very happy because Nikki's got a kind of more successful career. He's been very been very happy to stay at home more and raise the kids but um he uh, finds himself as the coach of a of a soccer team um uh for other adopted kids um and uh he starts to realize that perhaps that's what he's really good at and um uh i think jason's a really lovely man he's not always great at expressing his feelings and emotions he's quite pragmatic um but he's a really kind lovely person and i i really love playing him fantastic Esther, not to keep harping on this whole teenage thing, but let's go to the fact that you are playing a mom, Nikki, of a teenager. Um, she's got some other issues going on as well, Princess does, with um, being an adopted child and her searching longing for her biological mother. How do you prepare for this kind of a role? Because your emotions have got to be all over the place and we feel everything that you're feeling. Tell me about preparing for that role. Yeah, so... I mean, the subject matter in itself it is is a very real thing to a lot of people. So you want to you know represent it in the the most truthful, honest way. Um, in terms of preparing that, like really truly, it's all in the script that Andy Walton has written, and he's kind of predominantly written every single episode, which I think in itself is a huge achievement and, and incredible because I feel like the standard is so consistent um, that it's just it's just all there. It's all there on the page, which, you know, makes my job a lot easier. And also reading it, you can't help but connect to that storyline and feel great um, empathy um, for these characters and what they're going through and how they have to navigate all, all of it. Um, it's always a joy reading them because uh, they feel they do feel so real, but they're also funny as well. Kind of everything is like underpinned with humour. Um, yeah, so it's, it's it's all Andy to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely strike that perfect balance between tackling those difficult subjects yet providing some levity there as well. Um, I know I'm running out of time. I have one last question. Either of you can take it. Um, what do you hope that someone who, a parent who wants to adopt children or maybe um, older children who are being adopted, what do you hope the message is that the show gives to people? I think when it comes to um, any uh, form of art, really, the, the point of it is representation. And those people who are represented are therefore being seen. And when you're seen in life, it makes everything a little bit easier. Because if you're isolated, then um, uh, things can be very lonely. And this is a story that um, deals with serious issues that affect a lot of people. And, and to know that we're part of a show which can bring comfort to people experiencing these issues whether it's infertility or adopting or, or, or whatever it is, um, that's, that's a great joy for us and um, a responsibility um, that we don't take lightly and an honour that we really appreciate. And so all the folks that watch the show and write into um, us and Esther on her social media and tell her how much this show means to them, that's what makes it all worth it. Thank you. As someone who was adopted, Thank you. Well, there you go. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Esther Smith, Race Ball, for creating and being a part of Trying Season 4. Thank, Thank you. you.